Not from Leicester, not from Kettering, and not from Northampton. Live from Market Harborough, this is 95.1 HFM. HFM weather in association with the new South Leicestershire Learning Innovation Centre. New location, new ways of learning, new experience for you. For more information, telephone free on 0800 731 6723. Now we're moving over to Belize where we should have Philip Priestley on the line. Are you there, Philip? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. And uh, you are British High Commissioner in Belize, I understand. That is correct. Yeah. That, is, that is correct. Uh, Philip, we were at school together, although there were, there were two years apart, and we're going to be looking at some old school photographs and memorabilia of uh, Boston uh, very shortly. But um, um, perhaps you give me an update on your, on your career history. What happened when you uh, left school from Boston? When I left school, it was a long time ago, <laughs> um, 1965, and I went to the University of East Anglia in Norwich. Yeah. Uh, where I read a course of European studies and I graduated from there and joined the Foreign Office yeah. in 1969 and I've been with the Foreign Office working my way through the ranks as they say Yes. Uh, since then and I've served in a number of countries around the world uh, um, most recently for Belize I was I spent five years in London as head of the North America Department in the Foreign Office Right. or to give it its full title the Foreign and Commonwealth Office Yeah. Um, uh, before that I was Consul General in Geneva and before that I was at Harvard as a fellow at the Centre for International Affairs. Ah, oh, right. Uh, uh, I was Ambassador in Gabon in West Africa, uh, Deputy Head of Mission in the Philippines. And so I've served in, I've served in uh, New Zealand and in Bulgaria and Zaire. So you, 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 so I've, 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 I've got my knees brown. Isn't <laughs> You've really gone round, gone round the globe. I know this, this is a, a, a terribly trivial question, Philip. But I, I, uh, I hope you'll forgive me for asking it to you. But do you wear, do you have to wear one of those um, white hats? You know the, um, what, what, as no, British High Commissioner, the plumed, the plumed hat. The plumed hat, yes. Uh, no, no, there, there are in fact very. I, I couldn't tell you what they are. They are, but they, they are in fact very few. Uh, World where we still have a diplomatic uniform. All uh, right. I can recommend. I can recommend to all your listeners and viewers um, the Foreign Office website, which has won a great number of prizes. Uh, and it's www.fco.gov.uk. Right. And there you will find the answer to this question. I'm sure. <laughs> well, I don't know whether you can see it on the screen, Philip. Can you? The uh, connections. Um, uh, we've, we've brought up a little map of Belize, and by, by the side of it, we've got a picture of Boston Stump um, and, yes, uh, and, and Boston and Grammar School. The grammar School, indeed, indeed, uh, indeed. Absolutely. Yes, Does the that highest mean? parish church in England, of course. Uh, absolutely, it is. Uh, and um, it's it's great to be able to make this uh, uh, this connection uh, on on the program. Do you, do you ever go back to Boston at all? Uh, I haven't been recently because um, my parents are both dead, and um, I do have a, I do have two sisters, in fact, living still in Boston. Yes. Um, but um, with living abroad a lot of the time, my chances of getting back are not very uh, not very frequent. I'm afraid. No, no, no. I, I I don't get back too often now, but I still like to uh, go there occasionally. Um, uh, you should be seeing on the screen now um, a picture of um, the uh, the football team from 1960 <laughs> to to 61. And uh, do yes, you remember the uh, sports teacher, Mr. Wilkinson? Yeah, there? Wilkinson on the left there. Uh, I remember him well. Yes. On, on there, yes, and I uh, can just about read some of the names. Yeah, um, mine the, is not one of them. I used to add. What, one of my no, <laughs> one of my uh, one of my footballing uh, little uh, I suppose schoolboy heroes was uh, was Chris Gedney, who must have been uh, yes. round about your your time. Yes, indeed. Yes, one I can the, remember playing football. With, player. Yes, he was. He was very very good. I remember playing with him in the uh, in the school playground. Um, I'm moving on now to another picture of, uh, of Boston Grammar School, and uh, I don't know if you can see it uh, on the screen there at the moment, uh, but do you recognise the building on the left? <laughs> that looks like, um, what's it called? Something Tower. Fine Hussey Tower. Tower. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hussey Tower. That's Hussey it. Tower, yes. And there was My goodness, this garden didn't exist when I was there. <laughs> no, I don't think it did uh, when, when I was there either, but Hussey Tower was uh, adjacent to the school playing fields. Um, yes, it was. And, yeah, um, that's right. And uh, uh, on, on the screen we've also got um, 
uh, a picture of uh, Prize Day from 1961, which I discovered on the web today, to my amazement, actually has got a, a picture of, uh, of me on there as well. Uh, and oh my, my goodness. My, my chums, uh, Bill Warwicker and, um, and Andrew Burgess, who are in the same uh, form as me. Um, well, we've well, got... Sorry, you were going to say? Amazing. Yeah, it's no, absolutely it's amazing. amazing. And also, by the power of the internet, I'm, I'm loading up a, um, a, a web page now on the screen, which should be uh, appearing in, in a new window on your screen as well, if you tell me when, uh, when that one's come up. Um, and this is um, um, the old school song, Flory at Bostona. Oh, absolutely. I, I, can, uh, I expect you can remember being in the, uh, in the assembly uh, singing that song. Flory at Bostona, Flory and Priores. Laborandum, laborandum. <laughs> oh, isn't that remarkable? Well, what, yes. what the power of technology to bring people together across the globe to sing their old school song. Well, absolutely. If technology can't well, be used for something as productive as that, <laughs> what can it be used for? So, do you use technology in any innovative ways, Philip? I think we, um, we're, we're more on the consumer side of the technology, of course, rather than the innovation, I think. But uh, it is changing the way that we operate. Um, well, I mean, the Foreign Office has had uh, worldwide communications for many years, but the manner of, of doing it, and they've, and they've by, by uh, force of circumstances, they, the communications have to be secure, of course. Yes, yes. So making uh, communication secure is an art in itself. So I'm uh, certain that uh, if, you were to, if you were talking to one of the chaps who are actually running the communications, they would have told you all sorts of things that they've innovated. But for, for those of us who have to use the communications, um, uh, it's a mixed blessing, of course, because the speed of communications is such that um, everybody uh, gets onto this treadmill and it goes faster and faster. And um, well, of course, people through the internet and, uh, and, and radio and so on, they, and CNN, Mm. Uh, they know uh, what's happening in every corner of the uh, globe within seconds of it taking place. Absolutely. So well, we I, don't, I, we don't I, as, as we move towards the close of the program, I'm going to have to run the news very shortly. I just yep. wanted to um, uh, uh, just, um, I don't know whether you, you, you actually follow football at all, but uh, uh, Boston United have managed to get promotion oh, yeah. out of the uh, Nation World Conference into the Football Absolutely. League. So we've got every I reason think to. That's wonderful. Absolutely, it is absolutely wonderful. So this is our our Boston Tea Never Party, and it's great day. to have uh, some Bostonians on the line. We've got uh, Philip in Belize. We've got myself, David Wortley, here in Harborough. We've got Philip Orion um, over uh, in Nottingham, and we've got Deborah Amidon in Boston, Massachusetts. We can all have a celebration together. This is the uh, 2002 Boston Tea Party. There's no revolution involved in here. But we hope you've enjoyed the show. Stay tuned.